Imagine biting into a spoonful of jam. Smooth, glossy, and just the right amount of wobbly. What's behind that perfect texture? It's all thanks to pectin, a natural carbohydrate found in the cell walls of fruits. Without pectin, your jam would be nothing more than sweet, sticky syrup. But how does this invisible ingredient work its magic? Let's break down the science behind the spread. Pectin is a type of soluble fiber that acts like a glue inside fruit, helping cells stick together. When you cook fruit with sugar and acid, pectin molecules are released and start to interact. This is where the magic begins. The heat breaks down the fruit, freeing the pectin, while the sugar and acid help the molecules link up, forming a gel-like network. Not all fruits have the same amount of pectin. Apples, citrus peels, and quinces are loaded with it, making them perfect for jellies. Strawberries and cherries, on the other hand, are low in pectin, which is why recipes often call for added commercial pectin. The right balance of fruit, sugar, and acid is crucial. Too little pectin and your jam won't set. Too much, and it turns rubbery. So what exactly happens during the jam making process? As the mixture heats up, water evaporates, concentrating the sugar. The acid, often from lemon juice, helps pectin molecules shed their natural repulsion and start bonding. As the mixture cools, these pectin chains trap water and fruit particles, creating a stable gel. That's why jam thickens as it cools, not while it's boiling. Ever notice how some jams are firmer than others? That's all about the pectin concentration and the sugar to acid ratio. More pectin and sugar mean a firmer set, while less gives you a softer, more spoonable jam. This is why homemade jams can vary so much in texture. Each batch is a little experiment in chemistry, influenced by the fruit's ripeness and even the weather during harvest. Jelly takes the pectin game to another level. Unlike jam, which uses crushed fruit, jelly is made from fruit juice. The juice is strained to remove solids, then cooked with sugar and acid. The result? A crystal clear, shimmering gel that holds its shape beautifully. The clarity and wobble of a perfect jelly are a testament to the power of pectin's molecular network at work. Next time you spread jam on toast or watch jelly jiggle on a spoon, remember, it's not just fruit and sugar, but a marvel of natural chemistry. Pectin is the unsung hero, turning simple ingredients into something magical. So whether you're making jam at home or just enjoying a store-bought jar, you're tasting the result of a fascinating molecular dance. Breakfast will never feel the same again.